What's up soldiers, Greg FPS, and today I have a video that compares Call of Duty Advanced Warfare versus Titanfall. Now I don't think they're very similar, but you guys will understand from the video. Let's get started. Alright guys, so this past week Call of Duty Advanced Warfare's trailer was released and a lot of people are saying uh, it's just a rip off of Titanfall and stuff like that. Well I'm here to say that there is no way that it is a rip off of Titanfall and I have a few reasons to back it up and I'm also going to get into some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare features that actually enhance the player movement and abilities in the game so let's get right into it guys so as you guys know sledgehammer games actually is making call of duty advanced warfare and they were the ones that helped infinity ward make call of duty modern warfare 3 and ever since that life cycle was over they have been working on call of duty advanced warfare they are actually going to be running the game on a brand new engine as well as a new sound engine so overall the game is going to be great and it's being built for the next gen systems so specifically pc playstation 4 and xbox one and then a different company will be actually be porting the game over to the xbox 360 and the ps3 and possibly even the wii u so overall sledgehammer games has been working on the game for about three years if you guys didn't know the people who made titanfall respawn entertainment have been working on titanfall for about four years so overall there isn't much stipulation between if they were copying or not because there's no possible way i mean call of duty advanced warfare would not be able to copy all the same features that titanfall had this late in time yes titanfall did come out pretty recently in march but that's only about a month and a half ago to two months ago so it's not really like they're actually copying them in any way shape or form now, if you think about it, the future of gaming has really been getting into this. Any futuristic games like Crisis, um, some other ones, even Black Ops 2, the campaign, Halo, all these sort of games, they all have pretty much the same basic principle. There's a lot of new abilities that the soldiers have, and they basically evolve the overall firefights of soldiers and wars and all that sort of stuff and basically that's where sledgehammer games is going with advanced warfare now i'm gonna just read an article that i got on charlieintel.com the link will be down in the description so it says call of duty advanced warfare will introduce new enhanced player movement abilities new abilities in this game include boost jumps and grappling covert cloaking abilities and bio that provide strength awareness, endurance, and speed. The introduction of this gameplay mechanic delivers enhanced player movement and verticality through boost jumps and grappling, covert cloaking abilities. Okay, so I, that was basically the same exact thing as what I said. So, it's not clear right now if all these abilities will make their way into multiplayer mode. We don't really know that too sure. And it says in the new Game Informer magazine issue, they talked a little more about what abilities players will have, boost, dodge toward cover, perform super jumps to elevated positions, climb buildings with magnetic gloves, cloak themselves with optic camouflage, and hover in mid-air. So that's really cool guys. So basically, Titanfall has a lot of these sort of things like cloaking yourself, being able to do the boost jumps with the little jetpacks in, in their shoes or boots, whatever you want to call it. So a lot of these things are going to be included in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. We, we can't really say for sure though that it's going to be a direct copy of Titanfall. I mean there's so many different things. Titanfall down to the basics is basically you're just a soldier and you can you can double jump and boost and go kind of high you can wall run and do that sort of stuff we don't even know if there's going to be wall running in multiplayer mode for call of duty advanced warfare but you are able to climb up on the walls and stuff one other thing that's stated in the article is said with the advent of the exoskeleton and newly advanced armor and weaponry every soldier commands tactical freedom in any terrain unlike never before fundamentally changing the way gamers play Call of Duty across all modes. So that means that there's going to be a lot of different stuff and that's really good because Titanfall was kind of new for everyone as well. There was so many new things and there's so many new things in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and I really think this is going to mix up the series but we can't say for sure that Titanfall is a direct interpretation of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yes, they're going to have similarities because they are in the future. 
Call of Duty Advanced Warfare takes place in the year 2054, and Titanfall takes place probably 200 to 300 years from now. But we can't say in that time period alone that they're so similar. I mean, there's a lot of different things and there's a lot of similarities, but that's just how it is, guys. I mean, if you think about it, Titanfall was kind of copying Crisis. They have cloaking, they have the super jump abilities and all that sort of stuff. So I, overall, I think it's just the direction that video games are going nowadays, and that's why Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is using some of the same features that you'll notice, but they're not directly copying them. I just wanted to make this commentary because a lot of people have really been saying like, oh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is just going to be another Titanfall ripoff, and that's not true at all, guys. There's so many different things, and Kevin Spacey isn't in Titanfall, so that's why Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is going to be awesome. Also, there's just a bunch of sort of stuff that is really, really awesome, guys. So I'm really, really, really excited for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I hope you guys are too. And when any more information comes out in the near future, I will be sure to let you guys know about it. And I will make plenty of videos discussing all the new information that we get. So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Greg, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.